I'm Smita and I blog at Smiling Colors. Today's video tutorial will show you how to make this super cute felt flower pillow and we won't be doing any sewing at all. But first, today I'm part of a YouTube collaboration with some friends and they are also sharing flower themed projects. I will leave their links here down below in the description box. Be sure to check them out and subscribe. Here's a quick peek at Jessica and Christie's video and then I'll come back with my tutorial. Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. I'm so excited to be part of this flowery collaboration. I'll show you how to make this decoupage compact that is perfect for bridesmaids gifts, Mother's Day, or to keep for yourself. See you on my channel soon. Hi everyone, I'm Christy from MyScrapbookEvolution.com. I'm so excited to be joining crafters from around the world on this video collaboration. If you hop on over to my channel, you'll find tips for using flower embellishments and floral print papers on scrapbook layouts featuring photos of boys because you can and should be using those flowers from your stash. Back to my felt flower pillow. For the supplies, I will be using a couple of scissors, but this one by Fiskars is great to cut felt. It's called the Amplify Shears, and you can cut multiple layers of felt at once with these. I'm not sewing anything today, but instead I'll be using this Fabri-Tac glue. I tried this on a sample piece yesterday, and you can see the glue dries really, really strong. I'm very happy with it. I'm using a mix of inexpensive craft store felts and some richer wool felt also. This year I'm focusing on using craft supplies that I already own rather than buying new ones and these are what I found in my stash and I'm going to work with them. Now let's start by making the pillowcase. I have a 14 inch circle pillow form and I will leave a list of all the supplies used in the YouTube description box below and also on my blog smilingcolors.com. Now place two layers of felt on your table. The only circle shape I had was this mixing bowl, so I'm going to draw an outline of it first. This circle is smaller than what is needed, so mark 2 inches all around it and then freehand a circle shape. Then using an amplify shears cut out the felt circles. This scissor has a really long and nice sharp blade and it's perfect to use here. Dot the Fabri-Tac adhesive all around the edge and about, after about 2 or 3 inches, press down firmly and hold the felt in place with binder clips. Keep the binder clips on just for a few minutes and then remove them to avoid creating marks on the felt. Halfway through, slip the pillow form inside and then continue adding adhesive around and placing binder clips. Towards the end, you will definitely need the clips to hold the pillow shut, but if you don't have them, you will just need to hold the felt in place for a few minutes till the adhesive holds. Now that our pillow cover is ready, it just needs to dry overnight. The design for my pillow comes from this sketch that I recently drew of a bouquet of flowers in a heart shape. I loved this and decided to make it in felt. Now it's time to cut the flowers. I am just cutting out leaf shapes and petal shapes from different colored felts. I'm not using any template or design today. If you have a flower or a leaf die, there are some amazing dies out there. This would be a great project to use them to cut the felt. I try and make all of my flowers unique and find cutting flower petals to be therapeutic. So I'm speeding the video up here. Cutting these flowers is relaxing but it is not a quick task. This is something that would be perfect to do while watching a good TV show. To make it colorful and a bit quirky, try layering colors like blue felt on top of green felt for leaves and mix and match different colors for your flowers. I also cut out a bunch of tiny flowers and asterisk shapes, cut out a heart shape from felt and then arrange your flowers on it. When you're happy on how it looks, start gluing down everything. I will show you here that this glue is kind of hard to squeeze out of its container, but it dried super strong and was worth it. But if you have used other glue for felt before and would recommend it, please share it with me and leave a comment below. Thank you. 
The final step is to adhere our felt flower bouquet onto the pillow itself and voila, the pillow is ready. As a decorative touch, I added a few enamel dots and pearls in the center of the flowers. I love the pop of color that it brings. You could add buttons instead too. This pillow is by far the most colorful and intricate pillow I've made, but it was so simple to create. No broken sewing machine needles plus no time spent with my seam ripper. And this pillow looks absolutely adorable in my living room. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, give it a thumbs up, a share, leave a comment on what you would like to see next. I'm thinking of making a felt pillow with a big S on it or maybe some kind of hand lettering. What would you like to watch? If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by today. Hit subscribe so you won't miss any future videos and also as a way to let me know that you liked my video making style and support me. I actually have made all of the pillows you see here in this photo and you can find more information about these pillows on my blog smilingcolors.com. I will make sure to leave links to each of these tutorials in my blog post. Don't forget to look for the links down below for the other videos in today's collaboration. And as always, happy crafting!